Learn with Eddie. Oh. Hello, Eddie. <laughs> Tomorrow is the first day of school. <laughs> Have you got it all ready? Hmm. Oops, your bag is really old. <laughs> and your color pencils are really old, too. Mm hmm. Hmm. I see. We're going to have to update your school supplies. <laughs> How about we go to the supermarket today and buy everything you need to start the school year? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like that idea. <laughs> Come on, field trip to the shops. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm afraid it's raining. <laughs> oh, well, that's not a problem. We just need to take your raincoat. <laughs> I think we have it all in the closet. Let's get ready. Let's see. All right, here is the first garment we need to walk in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> True, your wetsuit is to be used underwater, but when you go diving, not walking. <laughs> <laughs> These waterproof overalls are going to be a lot comfier. Uh -huh. Waterproof means that water won't get through them. Oh. Let's see what else we've got in here. Right, do you remember what's the next garment you need to not get wet? <laughs> but Eddie, <laughs> <laughs> come on, I'm sure you know. <laughs> well done, your raincoat. And how about your feet? <laughs> Great, you got it. <laughs> now let's pick something out for your head. Come on, you choose Eddie. <laughs> That's it, that's your rain hat. You are on a roll today. <laughs> we are only missing the last thing. Your unicorn umbrella. Come on, it's getting late and the supermarket is about to close. What are you waiting for, Eddie? <laughs> you don't need to worry about the rain anymore. That's why you are dressed like that. Come on, run! <laughs> we made it on time. <laughs> but your clothes are dripping a little. <laughs> you should probably take them off and leave them on a hanger. You'll be comfier this way. <laughs> Hurry up, we need to find the school supplies alley. <laughs> <laughs> well done, here's all we need. Let's see. First, we need a new bag. <laughs> you are so lucky. They are unicorn bags. And to fill it up, what do you need? That's it, a ruler to draw straight lines. A notebook. A pencil to draw. An eraser in case you want to fix a drawing. Also, a sharpener to sharpen the pencil. <laughs> some colored pencils to color your drawings. <laughs> some scissors to cut them. <laughs> hmm, you'll also need a pencil case to put all this stuff in it, right? Oh. <laughs> That's it, this one is great. <laughs> Sometimes you struggle to get dressed, <laughs> but you definitely have no doubts when it comes to school supplies you need. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because you love going to school and especially learning. <laughs> Hello, Eddie. <laughs> but where are you going with just your new bag and your underwear? <laughs> True, I almost forgot you were going back to school. First day of the year. <laughs> hey, uh -huh. hey, Mr. Eddie, you can't go dressed like that. Uh -huh. And also, have you had breakfast? <laughs> right, you couldn't forget about eating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll help you get dressed so you are on time to catch the bus. Mm. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. This bag is empty. <laughs> <laughs> what a first day of school you were going for, huh? <laughs> All right, hurry up. Let's go to the room so we can get you dressed and your bag ready. <laughs> Let's see what we've got in the closet. Here are the tops, Eddie. <laughs> That's last year's apron. <laughs> but this year, you're going to a new class with older dinos. Uh -huh. So your new uniform is, let's say, a bit more elegant. 
<laughs> your wrapper shirt is not more elegant than your apron, Eddie. <laughs> that one is the new Roar School shirt, yes. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got here. Great! Time to get to the bottom part. <laughs> hmm. Let's see how you look wearing this. <laughs> you look really funny. Uh -huh. But this is your Hawaiian skirt, Eddie. <laughs> It'd be a bit weird if you showed up to school like this. <laughs> Though just as weird as you just wearing your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> look closer. You need pants, not a skirt. <laughs> That's it. You got it right this time. <laughs> time to choose your shoes. I don't think there is any doubt about this. <laughs> well, maybe there is. Do you want to wear your ice hockey boots? <laughs> you were playing around. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Focus or we'll miss the bus. <laughs> Great. You'll be comfier with these running around the playground. <laughs> Only the accessories left. You need to pick the tie. Well done! You got it right straight away. <laughs> we are done dressing you. <laughs> hey, but where are you going so fast? <laughs> Eddie, uh? we are not done yet. Uh? We need to get the bag ready. <laughs> Hurry up, the bus will be here any minute. <laughs> okay, all right, Eddie. What is the first thing you need to put in the bag? <laughs> Hmm, but color pencils need to go in their case first. Oh. First, you can put something else in the bag. Think about it. <laughs> That's it, your unicorn notebook <laughs> in the bag. <laughs> and since your ruler won't fit inside the case, it goes straight in the bag as well. <laughs> now, we need to get things in the case so they won't be scattered all around the bag. <laughs> A pencil. <laughs> A sharpener to sharpen the pencil. An eraser. The bus is here, Eddie. We need to hurry up. Colored pencils and scissors also in the case. Let's put everything in the bag. Here. Now we are done. Run to the bus. Eddie, I almost forgot your lunchbox for your break. Have a great first day of school. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Eddie! <laughs> Today we're going to pick out your clothes for... Uh -huh. School! Uh -huh. Yay! <laughs> Do you want to, Eddie? <laughs> Great! Let's pick out your clothes based on the classes you have today. <laughs> Let's see... Let's review your shirt. Uh -huh. Today you have R class, <laughs> P class, lunch... <laughs> <laughs> That's not a class, Eddie! <laughs> You're so greedy, Eddie. Ha ha ha. Let's see. And finally, you have craft class. All right. Now that we know what classes you have, let's pick out your clothes. Check out all of this stuff. You have lots of clothes to choose from, Eddie. Let's begin. So, what do you want to put on first? That's right. Underwear always goes first. Well done, Eddie. Let's see. What else should you put on first? Your socks. Well done. What's up next? Oh my god, Daddy. You know it by heart. How wonderful. All right. What's up next? Oh, but if you put on your trainers, how will you put on your trousers? That's right, Daddy. You put on your trainers after putting on your trousers. Let's see. You need an outfit for your body and your legs. Ha <laughs> I mean for school, not for the beach. Uh -huh. Well done, Eddie. Today you have PE class, so let's put on your track suit. <laughs> you like it, huh? Let's see. Now you have to tell me which clothes to put on sing. You also have art class and craft class. Ha <laughs> ha uh -huh. You really like the summer, huh? You keep punching at the trunks. <laughs> That's right! With this smoke, you can use your pens without staining your track suit. Come on then, you're almost finished! Now you can put on your trainer. Don't, Eddie! Now you're dressed to go to school! What's the matter, Eddie? Oh, I forgot your cap! 
And now you're ready for school, Eddie. That's my boy. See you on our next video. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. <laughs> ready to go back to school? <laughs> Don't be like that. You're going to learn a lot, play sports, and see all your friends again. I'm sure it'll be a great year, and you're going to learn so many things. <laughs> would you also like to learn with Eddie? <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you would like to know more about, or what doubts you have. <laughs> That's it! We'll solve them with Teacher Eddie! <laughs> so, do you have everything you need to go back to school? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Think carefully. Sometimes you can be a bit forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> How about we go over it all while we draw? <laughs> that way, we also learn how to draw and color with our friends. <laughs> all right, let's start from the basics. To be able to write and draw in class, you'll need... A pencil with an eraser, in case you make mistakes. <laughs> Don't worry, Eddie. We all make mistakes. The only important thing is learning. <laughs> what color are we going to paint the eraser? <laughs> Pink! Amazing! I know you love that color. <laughs> you also need to color this part here, the one keeping the eraser and the pencil together. Hmm. I'll give you a clue. It's made of metal, and for metals we use... <laughs> Gray! Perfect, Eddie! Let's go with the rest of the pencil. What color do you want it to be? Black and... Yellow! It's the most common color, yes! <laughs> now, we are only missing the point coming from the inside. Uh -huh. Think about this, they are made from wood. And wood, we color it brown. That's it! It looks great! <laughs> pencil, done! I like how you have so many colors in your case. <laughs> A sharpener! You knew that, of course! What color is yours? <laughs> Blue! <laughs> Great! <laughs> and this part to sharpen the pencil. Remember, it's also made of metal. <laughs> Gray! Very good, Eddie! You've learned it already! <laughs> Okay, now that we have sharpened the pencil, in order to draw a straight line, we'll need... <laughs> That's it! A ruler! Which will also allow us to measure things. It's actually very useful. <laughs> <laughs> what color do you want the rule to be, Eddie? Blue? Orange? <laughs> green! Perfect! Okay, we are only missing one more thing. Uh -huh. Once we have drawn a figure with the pencil and the ruler, and we want to cut it, what will we use? <laughs> with your teeth? <laughs> no, Eddie, it's easier if you do it with something else. Oh. Come on, you've used them many times. <laughs> Remember, they have two sharp blades that open and close. <laughs> That's it, gray because they are made of metal. But we hold them on this side made of plastic, which will be... Hmm. Red. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> Congratulations, Eddie. You are ready to go back to school. <laughs> Hello, Eddie. I can see you're not coming back from school very happy today. Did anything happen? Ah, uh, okay. I see. You have doubts about math. Eee. If you want, I can help you with a really fun game I'm sure you'll love. Uh -huh. Do you want to learn how to add and subtract with food? <laughs> <laughs> Great! Let's go to the kitchen and get started. <laughs> First, we'll learn how to add. What do you think? <laughs> Great! All right. How many pineapples can you see on the counter? <laughs> Very good. Those are pineapples, but can you give me a number? How many? Look closer. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not three, uh -huh. but I think I know how you can solve this problem. Uh -huh. What number comes after number one? <laughs> 
that's it. After number one comes number two, which is the result of adding up one plus one. <laughs> so if one plus one equals two, how many pineapples have we got if we have one pineapple plus one pineapple? <laughs> That's it, Eddie. One pineapple plus one pineapple equals two pineapples. <laughs> Let's see. How many kiwis do you see on the counter? <laughs> well done. Those are the kiwis. So how many kiwis are there total? One plus one plus one equals... <laughs> Good job, Eddie. There are three kiwis. <laughs> Let's go for the bananas. <laughs> Can you tell me how many there are? <laughs> Focus. Hmm. It's one more than the kiwis. <laughs> you got the hang of it, Eddie. <laughs> there are four bananas. <laughs> and how many strawberries do you see on the counter? <laughs> Wow, you are a real mathematician. <laughs> there are five strawberries. <laughs> we just need to see how many apples we've got. <laughs> Great, you saw all the apples. <laughs> but can you tell me the exact number? <laughs> <laughs> I think you are pretty good at adding now. <laughs> there is a total of six apples. <laughs> <laughs> now, time to learn how to subtract. Uh -huh. Don't worry, it's easy. You just have to do the opposite of adding. Uh -huh. For example, we have six apples. <laughs> but if I give you one and you eat it, how many apples have we got left? Uh -huh. To solve this, you only need to think that we are taking one away. That's it, six apples minus one apple. Here's a clue, what number comes before six? That's it, Eddie. Six minus <laughs> one is five. <laughs> Are you getting it? <laughs> what if we subtract one more? <laughs> How many apples have we got left? <laughs> Four. That's it, Eddie. <laughs> I think this idea of learning math with food is really working. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it a bit more difficult. Oh. I want you to tell me how many pieces of fruit there are on the counter in total. <laughs> Two pineapples <laughs> plus three kiwis <laughs> plus four bananas plus five strawberries <laughs> plus four apples makes a total of... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> One and two plus three, four, and five plus six, seven, eight, and nine plus ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen plus fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Very well, Eddie. That's number eighteen. So we have a total of eighteen pieces of fruit. <laughs> But what if, for example, I give you and you eat one apple, one strawberry, one banana, and one pineapple? How many pieces of fruit have we got? <laughs> That's it, Eddie. 14 pieces of fruit. <laughs> As you can see, the total is always the result of adding up all the different parts. Now you know how to add and subtract. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, Eddie. In this case, you are giving me a lesson. <laughs> if we add all this food together, we can have a yummy fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Eddie. <laughs> oh, my. What a mess this is. Uh -huh. God forbid you ever have to find anything in there. <laughs> oh, you think you could do it? <laughs> all right, well, then I suggest we play... <laughs> A tidying up the garage. Uh -huh. You'll see, it's going to be so much fun this way. Mm. Let's play with the letter A. Uh -huh. Do you know the letter A, Yeti? Exactly. Well, we're going to play a tidying up and looking for things that start with the letter A. Do you guys want to play with us? There are lots of things that start with the letter A in Eddie's garage. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find some. All right, I'll start, Eddie. Let's see... Oh, I know! An airplane! 
Exactly. Airplane starts with the letter A. Okay, now it's your turn, Eddie. Well done, Eddie. Album starts with the letter A. Now it's my turn. Let's see. This is getting harder and harder. Oh, I know. An abacus. That's right. The word abacus starts with an A. You're rap, Eddie. Uh -huh. A hamster. <laughs> you almost got it right, but no. See? There is a name, hamster, but it starts with the letter H. It's okay, we'll put it away anyway. Now it's my turn again. <sighs> this is so hard. Oh, I know, an avocado. Avocado starts with A. But hang on a second. Why is there an avocado in the middle of the garage, Eddie? <laughs> Come on, put it in the fridge where it belongs. And what about you guys? Have you spotted any other things starting with the letter A? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. Hi, Eddie. What are you up to? Hmm. Oh, you're playing with your toys. What are you playing at? <laughs> you're a zookeeper. And how good are you at looking after the animals? You're good. Well, let me suggest a game. Finding animals that start with the letter E. Uh -huh. You know the letter E, don't you, Eddie? <laughs> you guys can also participate. You can try and find the animals before we do. Should we start, Eddie? Here we go. Come on, Eddie. I went first last time, so you're up first today. Which of these animals start with the letter E? <laughs> <laughs> you went straight for the easiest one, didn't you? Exactly! The elephant! Elephant starts with an E. Well done, Eddie! Now it's my turn! Let's see... Oh, I know! The earthworm! <laughs> yes, Eddie, earthworms aren't very nice, but they do start with the letter E. Come on, you're up! Well done, Eddie! The elk! That one was a little bit harder! <laughs> elk starts with the letter E, and they're nicer than <laughs> earthworms, aren't they? Alright, now it's my turn. It's really hard, isn't it? I'm afraid you might win after all. Oh, wait! I got it! Eagles! Eagles are as beautiful as they are dangerous, but they start with the letter E, see? <laughs> Another point to me! Well, Eddie. It seems like there isn't a clear winner after all. <laughs> We're tied. Why are you laughing? Have you spotted another animal that starts with E? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Eddie starts with an E. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll admit it. You win this time. <laughs> and what about you guys? How many animals have you spotted? <laughs> Hi, Eddie. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you bored? We could play a game. What do you say we make up a story? Uh -huh. <laughs> but let's make it more interesting, okay? Uh -huh. All of the elements in our story have to start with the letter I. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't worry, we just have to use our imagination. Look, we'll use one of your picture books. Here we go, Eddie. Who could be the main character in our story? Think, Eddie. Uh -huh. With the letter I. That's so interesting, Eddie. An inventor. Now it's my turn. And where does our inventor live? Oh, I know. On a desert island. What do you think? <laughs> think, Eddie. The scientist lives on the island by himself, but one day he receives a visit. Uh -huh. Who could it be? An Indian! <laughs> this is getting interesting! Okay, so, the Indian tells the inventor that his village is being attacked by a big bad monster. And the scientist starts thinking and... Uh, and has an idea! A great idea, actually! He decides to use one of his inventions. Now it's your turn, Eddie. What's the invention? An injection, yes! He gives himself the injection he had invented and he turns... He turns invisible! Great! This way he'll be able to defeat the monster! 
But how will they get off of the island and reach the monster? Think, Eddie! <laughs> a nice bug! Good one, Eddie! The invisible inventor jumps on the iceberg along with the Indian so that they can travel to his village! <laughs> this is quite a story, isn't it, Eddie? <laughs> and what about you guys? How could you finish the story? Hi, Eddie! <laughs> oh, I see you're sleepy! Hmm. It's a pity because I was going to suggest we finish the story we started the other day. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What do you say we use it as a bedtime story? <laughs> Great, but let's change the letter. <laughs> let's use words that begin with the letter O. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you guys? Will you help us? Look closely at the pictures and try to guess words starting with the letter O. <laughs> well, that was fast. Come on, here we go. All right, Daddy. Our invisible inventor was traveling on an iceberg to the Indian's village to defeat the monster. <laughs> what will the evil monster be? Hmm. Well done, Eddie. A big bad ogre will make the perfect bad guy. And the inventor is on his way to defeat the ogre who lives in... Uh, he lives in... Oh, right! On an obelisk! <laughs> he lives on top of an obelisk, away from everyone else. Keep going, Eddie! Uh -huh. The inventor tries to defeat the ogre, but he's too big and fierce. And he needs the help of... Uh, <laughs> Of an orangutan, of course! A jungle orangutan that is friends with the Indians and helps him hold back the ogre with all its might. And then the inventor... He grabs his oboe. Yes, a special oboe that he invented. And he uses it to play a melody that puts the ogre to sleep. You're up, Eddie. Hmm. We have defeated the ogre. What do we do with him now? An oyster! Great, Teddy! The inventor locks the ogre inside a huge oyster. And, uh, and he throws it into the ocean. That's it! And the oyster containing the ogre stays at the bottom of the ocean. And this way the Indians can live in peace and happily ever after. <laughs> that was quite the story we came up with. It was a little fantastical, wasn't it, Eddie? E Eddie? And what about you guys? What did you think of the story? Would you choose a different ending for it? You can tell us in the comments. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Do you remember we've been playing at learning the vowels lately? <laughs> well, I've just realized that there's still one vowel left. <laughs> the letter U. Uh -huh. Do you know the letter U, Eddie? <laughs> exactly. It's less used than the other vowels, but it's still very common. Uh -huh. You'll see, I'll show you with a game. Let's see if you can find 16 in your house that start with the letter U. Will you be able to? Hmm. <laughs> it will be harder than you think. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll manage. <laughs> Do you guys also want to play with Eddie? Help him by leaving in the comments all of the words starting with U that you can think of. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Here we go. <laughs> Things that start with the letter U. Uh -huh. Well done, Eddie. You got the first one. Unicorn! Unicorn starts with the letter U. What else, Eddie? Hmm. That's right, Eddie! Your school <laughs> uniform! That's two! Uniform starts with the letter U. Come on, let's keep looking. Let's look in the living room. <laughs> Come on, Eddie, you're doing hmm. so well! What else is there that starts with the letter U? <laughs> That's so funny! A ukulele! It's like a small guitar! Ukulele starts with the letter U! Can you spot anything else, Eddie? Hey, urn! Wow, Eddie! Nothing gets past you! Indeed, the word urn starts with the letter U! And we have already spotted four scenes. <laughs> You've almost won, Eddie. 
<laughs> what do you say we keep looking in your bedroom, Eddie? <laughs> There's lots of stuff in there. Come on, Eddie. We have to do this. <laughs> Can you see anything that starts with the letter U? <laughs> <laughs> well, are you clever, Eddie? The universe! Of course, universe starts with the letter U. Come on, there's only one left. Come on, Eddie, think. Finally, what is it, Eddie? <laughs> That's it, a uranium rod. You did it. Hang on a second. Why on earth are you playing with uranium, Eddie? It's very dangerous. You could... <laughs> you are so funny, Eddie. Eddie? Eddie, it's time to wake up. Ed? Uh? Eddie, school starts today. <laughs> Do you have everything you need for your first day of school? <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, I don't think you'll need your unicorn inflatable rubber ring or your surfboard at school. Let's see, Eddie. If today is your first day of school, did you know what you need? Yes, Eddie, you need your coloring pencils. But I was actually thinking of something else. <laughs> yes, you also need a fruit snack. But I was thinking of something larger, where you can carry the rest of your stuff. That's it, Eddie, your new rucksack. <laughs> Hang on a sec, where's your rucksack? Huh? Eddie, where on earth are you? There you are, Eddie. You got really excited for a moment there. <laughs> now you have your rucksack. Do you know what to put inside it? Yes, the pencil case is for carrying small stuff. Do you remember what things to put inside your pencil case? <laughs> That's right, Eddie. The coloring pencils go in the pencil case. <laughs> and so do your... <laughs> eh? Wait a sec. No, your <laughs> pants don't <laughs> go there. <laughs> I almost slipped there, Eddie. In goes the pencil case. Okay, what else should we put in your rucksack, Eddie? That's right, your roller also goes there. And so does your lovely coloring notebook. And you also need something that you love for your break. <laughs> you knew exactly what I meant. Let's see, Eddie. What do you want to take to eat later? All right, sandwich it is. <laughs> and you can also bring some fruit. Now you're all set. All there's left for you to do is to get your rucksack. There we go. Done. You're ready. Come on. You have a bus to catch. Bye. Have a great first day, Eddie. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. Bye.
Yeah, and you can also talk with Eddie. Send him an email at learnwitheddie at asubio.tv. <laughs> he will love it. <laughs>